FYI, if I find out these palettes ain't shit, I just want to let y'all know that there will be a part two to this video blasting these beauty influencers that like to shove Morphe brushes down our throats. Mm-hmm. What up, love bugs? It's your girl Pam. Thanks for stopping by here at Beauty Corner. Yes, I've been MIA for a while. I gotta be all the way real with y'all. I have been just really discouraged when it comes to this channel. So I took a break for a little bit and really wanted to feel the love that I have for beauty again. So, you know, I'm back. And I'm excited to film for you guys. I hope y'all miss me. Let's hope. So anyway, you guys know what today's video is. Of course, you clicked on it. It is a review on the Morphe Brushes Limited Edition Palette Copper Spice and Bronze Mocha. Around, I'm going to say the end of December, not December, the, the end of November, early December, Morphe Brushes decided to give us a little teaser of their upcoming palettes. You know, some of their beauty influence influencers, I should say, were kind of teasing the palettes well, showing us swatches, showing the pigmentation, and it just got, I'm going to say everyone, but it got a lot of people hyped and excited about the palette, and you guys know... Um, for me personally, I'm very like on the fence with Morphe brushes, but I know a lot of you guys like Morphe brushes, so I knew that I had to come and do this review. I know I'm about a week or so late from everyone else who has done the reviews on YouTube. However, I think a lot of those people live pro most likely closer to California than I do. You guys know I live here in New York City, and yeah it took forever to come so they released these two palettes december 26 and i got mine on thursday pretty much almost not almost but it's about what three three weeks three weeks for it to come to me you know when you first purchase it they tell you oh it's going to be about seven to ten business days before they ship it out and then once they told me they shipped it out it took another week and a half to get to me which i find to be very hard very like I don't understand because usually priority mail takes about two to three days and if there's some sort of delay then it's another extra day not a week and a half but anyway but I digress let's get into the review so here are the two palettes that they recently released for limited edition I really truly believe that these are going to be limited edition because I checked the website just to get a little bit of um um, information on these palettes as far as like grams and all that stuff but I couldn't find it anywhere on their site so don't quote me it might just stay limited edition you know how they do and other companies do they say it's limited edition you go out there you 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 spend your hard-earned money to get everything that you want to get as far as it being limited edition and the boom pow pow is out for the next year they were each $17.99 but if you got them together they were 33 and change and yes I did use an affiliate link and I got 10% off I do not care I know some people feel like you know a lot of these Morphe brushes um, beauty influences like really push the affiliate link I'm going to use it if it takes money off my cart okay okay so here are the two palettes this one is a bronze mocha yeah, this one is Bronze Mocha. There you go. So you can see what it looks like. Okay, and this one is Copper Spice, which I think was more popular than Bronze Mocha. Don't quote me on that, but this is what it is. Make sure, make sure I show you all the shades. So here are the two palettes. And as you guys can see from, from the design of the packaging, it is completely different to what they normally sell, which is usually just all black and it's a matte finish from these they have the top that is see-through that you can see exactly what palette that you are using i personally do not like this packaging i prefer the other packaging 
if I need to know what palette that I'm using, they have a little sticker on the back that shows you what it is. Um, some people actually like this, but I feel like this top plastic actually cheapens the packaging. I don't know. I just, I personally don't like it. Okay, before I get into reviewing the palette, if you're looking for the specs of the palettes, like as far as how much you're paying per gram, the ingredients or whatever like that, I will leave that information down below. Or if I'm feeling willy nilly, I will leave it somewhere here on the screen if I feel like adding it to the video. If not, it will definitely be down below. All right, so I'm going to start off with the, to me, to me, the most popular out of the two, and that is Copper Spice. Copper Spice actually is the one that I really wanted, but because I was doing the review, I was like, let me go get Bronze Mocha, but if I wasn't going to do a review, I was just going to pick up Copper Spice. But anyway, according to Morphe Brushes, Copper Spice is an exotic and earthy mix of deep browns and spicy shades that are, that are the perfect complement to the fiery metallics and shimmery taupes of this palette. For a coppery glow or a sultry smolder, this palette turns up the heat. It most definitely turns up the heat for me. Again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I love me some warm. Why did I go into a southern accent? I love me some warm freaking eyeshadows. And this, these two particular ones right here, honey, they are speaking to me. These two metallics right here. So in this palette, they provide us with... 15 matte eyeshadows and 10 metallic eyeshadows. I have to be honest with you, they say taupes. I do see some taupes in this um, palette. However, they're warm taupes. I didn't think that was even possible to have warm taupes because when you think of taupes, you think of brown and then you think of gray. But I guess it is possible. Anything is possible. Color is possible. The, this is the um, palette. I'm going to swatch them really quickly on my fingers, but at the end of the video, I'm going to show um, all the swatches to every shadow in both palettes, and I'm going to be using a brush. That will definitely determine if these palettes are worth it or not. FYI, if I find out these palettes ain't shit, I just want to let y'all know that there will be a part two to this video blasting these beauty influencers that like to shove Morphe brushes down our throats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let me just do swatches. I'm really curious to see how these two metallic swatch. So let me go in and I'm doing a nice rub. That's nice. Look a little pigmented. Look at a little pigmented. But sometimes that, that don't mean shit until it hits the brush. And let me, sorry if I'm cursing, if you find me, find it offensive of me cursing, I'm a grown ass woman, deal with it. And let me go into this really pretty like coppery, whoa, these are really pigmented, oh, let me swatch it on the hand, oh, it's buttery, those are nice, and these are just hand swatches, but they're nice, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, beauty influences. All right, all right. You may not be lying. You may not be lying. This may be some sort of like new formula that they have because, yeah, mmm, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's go into some of these matte shades. Actually, before I do that, let me get a wet wipe. All right, so let's go into some of these other colors. And I'm going to test, definitely test out the lighter colors because I feel like that's where their hits, I mean, that's where their misses are when it comes to the lighter shadows versus the darker shadows. So let me go on this one because this one really catches my eye. This is like a really pretty mustard green and mustard green. Why did I say mustard yellow? Um, I'm a huge fan of mustard yellow and no makeup company really does that color. So let's go with this color. Let's see how pigment this is. So that's that color. Can you see it? Can you see it? Let me block my face so you can see it better. And then let's go with this color right here. Yeah, they look pretty pigmented. So let me swatch these on the back of my hand. They're okay. They're definitely not as pigmented as the metallics, but um, I was kind of expecting that with Morphe brushes. So let's go with uh, let's go with this color over here. And then I'm gonna swatch 
another metallic. How about the one next to it? It's really pretty. Well, actually, is that even... Wait a minute. That might not even be a metallic. One, two, three. So the one next to it, I don't believe... This one right here, I don't believe that's a metallic. I believe that's some sort of... Hmm. Matte with shimmer in it? It's definitely not metallic. So here are the two shades. So those are the two other shades right there. Okay, so now we have bronze copper, which is this one here. This one definitely has more of cool tones. I see a lot of purples. I definitely see a lot of taupes in this one. And according to Morphe, bronze mocha have shades of mellow cabernet, warm brandy, and mochas. This palette is inviting as a steamy spice latte on a crisp, cool day. The mix of warm and cool mattes with neutral shimmers ensures easy everyday looks that never get boring. I see very little warms, which is to be expected. The only two warm shades that I, or three warm shades that I really do see is this one up here, this gold right here, and the one above it. The rest of them are very cool um, colors. I see a lot of burgundies. I see, um, um, they're not necessarily neutral. Um, one of them does have like a pinky undertone, which is this one, or a red undertone. And this one is definitely more of a taupey color. So I'm going to swatch these. And I'm going to swatch this one down here because this one looks really, really pretty. And I think this is one of the shimmers. And this one really brings, this one right here really speaks to me. And these are definitely pigmented. So those are those two colors right there. Sorry for the noise. This is New York City. It's never quiet at all. Okay, so here are the two shades. Okay, they swatch really nice from hand to hand. Um, let's go into some of the lighter colors. Like I said, Morphe brushes is really, mm -mm, they not all that when it comes to your lighter colors. I'm definitely going to try this one right here. It's like a buff color. Like a buff color with like a little bit of pink. Let me make sure my hands are completely clean. So I'm going to go in with that one. Give a little swash wash. So that's that color right there. Cover my face so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to go with the one here in the corner. It's kind of like a pinky bricky color. It's really pretty. And that's that one right there. I'm going to go in with another one. The one that's underneath this one. So this one right here. Cause this one's a really oh this one's really nice this one's really pigmented it's that color right there so here are the colors okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to demonstrate some of these eyeshadows onto my eye i think it's really important to show that to you guys simply because the last morphe brushes review i did um the 35o eyeshadows did not transfer very well i thought they were very powdery and they weren't very pigmented when it came to a brush. So I'm going to demonstrate the eyeshadows in the Copper Spice palette because that one speaks to my soul. It's warm. It's like, Pamela, we need you. You need to put us on your eyes. So I'm going to be using Copper Spice. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, I know. Going into the Copper Spice palette, I'm all over the place. Please bear with me. I have not done a video in a really long time. But I'm going to go with, that just dropped, I'm going to go in with this color because it speaks to me, it reminds me of Brown Script from MAC. And this is powdery, so you definitely want to tap the excess off. Place this into my crease. So far, so good. It's coming off nice. Third time I'm dipping it in. Gives off nice, okay pigmentation, but I am using a very fluffy brush. And when you hit the fluffier the brush, the less pigmented the eyeshadow is going to be. So now I'm going to go in with a color that I didn't swatch for you guys. I'm going to go in with this color right here. Let's see how this is going to look. This dark brown is, yeah, it's all right. Okay, so that's that second color. It's okay. I've had better dark browns. Um, definitely can tell that I will be constantly dipping my brush into that color because it's not as pigmented as it should be. This is the fifth time I'm doing this. 
I'm going to go in with... Let's go in with this pretty color. I just, I, I can't resist this color. It's so freaking gorgeous. This one right here. It's like a coppery, penny, bronzy. It's really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to use my brush because I definitely want to see if it actually transfers very well that way instead of being like a hue to beauty one where you have to use your fingers. Yeah. Okay, so this is coming off as a regular shimmer shadow. Alright, so here is the finished look of me using the Copper Spice palette. Um, it's nothing crazy because this is not a makeup tutorial. I just wanted to see how well these eyeshadows performed with brushes. I will be doing a separate video makeup tutorial using the bronze mocha palette since I didn't use any of those eyeshadows in this eye look. But I have some, I have somewhat of an idea of how those eyeshadows are going to perform just from this palette alone. So let's jump into my final thoughts on these two products. Okay, so let's start off with the packaging of the two palettes. I absolutely do not like the packaging. I think it actually cheapens it. I would prefer them to stick with the all black matte packaging that they have for their 35 shadows versus their 25 shadows here. From me alone just doing this eye look because the swatches were completely different, I can tell you that the matte shadows are powdery. They um, do have pigmentation. They actually have better pigmentation than the 35O palette, I must say. Okay, but they are definitely powder where once you dip your brush in, you definitely would have to tap the excess off because if not, and you did your foundation routine, you will have all the excess all underneath your eyes. I'm going to tell you that right now. And that also goes for the shimmer shadows and metallic shadows. Now, moving on to the metallic shadows. These are definitely not metallic shadows. I don't know why they constantly um, describe these as metallic shadows. I think they're just simple shimmer shadows. If you're looking for that metallic look, foiled look, you will definitely need some solution. Are these unique palettes? Absolutely not. We've all seen these shadows before. Um, again, these are okay as far as pigmentation goes. I believe these are very beginner friendly. So if you are beginner makeup, if you're your teenager or you're in your early 20s and you don't want to spend a lot of money or you can't spend a lot of money on eyeshadow palettes, I think these are very good for beginners. Okay, definitely make sure you have something like a paint pot to if you have some sort of like color to your eyes, if you are a person of color and you want to see the true pigmentation of the shadows, I definitely recommend something like a paint pot. Okay guys, so that pretty much sums up this video. If you know what I like, love, and adore, show a girl some love. Listen, if this video was all over the place, I do apologize. I need to get back into doing these videos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But again, show a girl some love. Do not cut this video off right now because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you swatches of all the shadows in both palettes. I will see you guys in the next video.